Harry Patch was the very last of the hundreds of thousands of soldiers sent into the carnage of the First World War trenches. Today, the last post sounded in his honour. <laughs> In 1911, when he died, he outlived his old comrade Henry Allingham by just a week. Today's funeral marks the fact that now there's no one left to tell of what it was like on the Western Front. But it was also a chance to say goodbye to the Tommy who outlived them all. Like many old soldiers, Harry Patch felt his story wasn't particularly special, but he did have a unique insight into the futility of the so-called Great War, and what he saw made him determined to work for peace. Harry was an ordinary man. Harry let it out so we could hear his message, his message of peace and reconciliation. I wouldn't have had the courage to make the decision Harry made. Would any of you? No. In that spirit, these soldiers carrying his coffin are made up of two Belgian, two French and two German infantrymen, and representatives from all those countries' governments attended the service. Although members of the military were there, not even ceremonial weapons were allowed. In attendance, the Duchesses of Cornwall and Gloucester, Harriet Harman and General Sir Richard Dannett, but also close friends and family, as well as hundreds of local Wells people who had queued for tickets. If it wasn't for the sacrifice that the chaps like Harry made, we wouldn't have the freedoms that we have today. It's as simple as that. It was horrific. It was for us. It was for our freedom and the way we live today. Mr Patch's coffin has now been taken from the cathedral in Wells for a private burial, as he wanted. Meanwhile, the bugle salute marks the end not only of a service of celebration and reflection, but also of an extraordinary life and a link to a past that must never be forgotten.